Hello everyone, we'll talk about uh, the filtration, reabsorption and excretion rates of glucose in the nephron. So we'll see the slides about uh, the first figure which tells us about uh, the filtration rate of glucose with the plasma glucose concentration. So this figure shows that the filtration rate of glucose from the plasma into the Bowman's capsule is proportional to the plasma concentration of glucose. So in simple terms, filtration of glucose is proportional to the plasma concentration of glucose. And as uh, filtration doesn't exhibit saturation, so the graph, if you see here, it continues infinitely in a straight line. The filtrate uh, glucose concentration is always equal to the plasma glucose concentration. Now coming to the next figure which plots the reabsorption rate of glucose in the proximal tubule against the plasma concentration of glucose. When the carriers reach the saturation, reabsorption exhibits a maximum transport which is called as the tubular maximum or the transport maximum for glucose. The reabsorption of glucose is proportional to the plasma concentration of the glucose until the transport maximum is reached. And after the transport maximum for glucose or tubular maximum for glucose is reached, the reabsorption rate doesn't increase. It becomes constant and it is independent of the plasma glucose concentration. Now the transport maximum refers to the plasma concentration at which the carriers are fully saturated. So this is the transport maximum or the tubular maximum for glucose which is the maximum tubular reabsorptive capacity or the tubular maximum for glucose which is the maximum amount of glucose that can be absorbed per unit time that is in minute and it is approximately 375 milligrams per minute. Now this figure plots the excretion rate of glucose uh, in relation to the plasma glucose concentration um, that is uh, milli expressed in milligrams per 100 ml of plasma. So once the carriers reach saturation, glucose excretion begins. The plasma concentration at which the glucose first appears in the urine is called as the renal threshold for glucose. At plasma levels below the renal threshold, the reabsorption is complete and all the filtered glucose can be reabsorbed as plenty of carriers are available. Hence, no glucose is excreted in the urine. Glucose excretion, if you see, is zero until the renal threshold is reached. Now, what is the renal threshold for glucose? It is the plasma level of glucose at which glucose first appears in the urine and it is observed as one uh, the plasma level of glucose at around 180 to 200 milligrams per 100 ml is at which glucose first appears in the urine and this is the normal renal threshold for glucose. It varies from the previous graph which we have seen which was around 300 milligrams per 100 ml. It varies because the trans uh, tubular maximum for glucose of the nephron is variable. That is, there is variability in the number of glucose carriers, the variability in the transport rate of the carriers and also the binding affinity of the SGLT transporter is also variable. And uh, if you look at the composite graph which shows the relationship between filtration, reabsorption and excretion rate of glucose. In this graph you can observe the line representing the filtration and reabsorption. Filtration is the green line and the reabsorption is the red line which are identical up to the plasma glucose concentration which is equal to the renal threshold. And then these both lines are equal. That is if filtration equals the reabsorption the difference between the algebraic difference between the two is zero and there is no excretion. So there is no excretion until the filtration and reabsorption are equal. That is until the transport maximum of glucose is reached or until the renal threshold for glucose is reached.
So this is calculated by, as we know, you need to remember that glucose excreted is glucose filtered minus glucose reabsorbed. So when these both are equal, um, as we see here, until the renal threshold is reached, they are equal. So the glucose excreted will be zero. So there is no excretion. Once the renal threshold is reached, you can see the filtration exceeds. Uh, filtration begins to exceed the reabsorption. So there is some divergence of the two lines, the filtration and the um, reabsorption. The filtration is increasing, whereas the reabsorption remains constant. And as we know, the difference between the glucose filtered and the reabsorption is excretion. And uh, the difference between these two lines, that is filtration line and reabsorption line, represents the excretion rate. So that is about uh, the three uh, graphs and the cumulative graph of filtration rate, reabsorption rate and excretion rate of glucose. If you like the video, please uh, like, comment and share uh, in the um, uh, below the video. Thank you for watching.